our next question, and some of this has been answered a little bit already, is how our network or connections have helped us on this journey. Um, I don't know if anybody would like to add here a little bit more. Michael or Dondi, would you like to add anything? Yeah, I don't mind. Again, I think that, that part of what we do as a consultant, I think we have to have people we can bounce ideas off of. I think we have to have people that we know will be honest when we ask a question and not be people who will, will be yes men, who will always mm. agree with us and say, what a wonderful idea. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear what's wrong with it because I want to make it better. Um, I think that when it comes, I think back to the classroom, and I think that the parents' nights and things, and you, you would, as a, as a teacher, you would try and couch every phrase you put with a positive spin. So even when, when the, the student hasn't progressed as well as you'd like to this year, the comment would be, uh, Samuel has improved in his ability to, or Sonia has uh, developed in her understanding of, that's such a really loose and woolly kind of way of explaining what's happening in their journey. I don't want that. I want, it's not going to work because this is what you might want to think about. It's that, it's that guidance which I think that your, your network can give to you because the people that you trust, the people that you won't go crying and never talk to them again if they tell you something you don't want to hear, they're people who will be honest and, and they want you to succeed. It's that it's that shared journey you're on with them. And yet yeah, you don't stay with them, you don't hang out with them every day, but you're learning with them, you're growing with them. You're sharing things, they're sharing things. You're giving feedback to them, they're giving feedback to you. You want to have that trust and the honesty that you, you can have together. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if I can just jump in here quickly. Um, I, th I think one of the things that can put people off this journey is that we have in our profession as educators, we do have cynics. And the cynics who can sometimes be part of our immediate network can put us off the idea straight away. They can be the ones who are like, well, why do you want to do, I mean, <laughs> again, talking from personal experience, why, why, why do you want to do that? Like, why, why aren't you happy just being a teacher? I'm like, well, well I am, but I just think I can do more. And it's like, it's, it's like a battle. You're trying to say one thing, they're trying to say something. Else. And, and, and for, I, I, I don't know, the majority of people, those conversations would end with the, the person or the teacher saying, actually, you know what, they're right. I should just continue with what I'm doing. But then obviously you find some people who are like, oh, but maybe they'll want to explore it anyway, right? And so one of our attendees, Barbara Bray, hi Barbara, by the way, uh, she, I've, I've never met, I still haven't met Barbara actually, she uh, gave me an opportunity to be on an Ed chat with one of my really good friends, um, Mer Servanak, and uh, that was maybe about five months ago. And again, since then, Barbara's been part of this kind of Twitter, kind of PLN, uh, and we tag each other in things, and um, honestly, having somebody like Barbara, who's got a lot of experience, really just kind of helps, it, 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 it kind of helps authenticate and, 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 and justify why you're trying to do what you're doing. Uh, because there's a lot of people who don't want you to succeed, which is, I know it's quite sad to hear, it's just the way it is. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, you know, I, I really want to bring that kind of element of, of reality to this conversation. The reason why 95% of the people in the world will not fulfill their dreams is because only 5% of the people in the world truly believe in the dreams that they want. And if you're part of that 5%, then find the other 5% because they will definitely help you achieve because they are also trying to achieve at the same time. Maybe not 95%, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm not going to answer the question anymore, but I do have to say one thing for those people who are watching this and agree or, or, or don't make sense to them. The next session in this educator event is called Overcoming Obstacles and Fear in Order to Change Practice which is, is really the next step in this discussion. So just, just to share, I'll be quiet now.
I'm sorry I'm not in that conversation. <laughs> that should have been. <laughs> would you, is any, would anybody else like to add anything to, to um, the elaboration of the network? <laughs> 